Today I want to show you the technique to use a double boiler. All right. So a lot of people use a double boiler to melt down chocolate, melt down, I don't know, coconut oil. I'm going to show you how I use the double boiler to boil my teas. All right. So of course you could use an old method and just throw your tea in the pot and boil it down that way. But the purpose of the double boiler is you're going to get more heat and you're going to get more pressure on your herbs and get a better extraction. So I found out that my herbal teas come out more concentrated that way. So what I'm going to need is a mason jar. And I got a mason jar with a, with a hole in the top. Because we're going to be putting our herbs inside and we're going to fill it up with water. And then this goes inside of a pot of boiling water. And we're going to get that water boiling and then keep it down on a simmer and we're going to elevate it off the bottom of the pot with this steamer All right. so while this jar is in the pot with herbs it's going to have all the heat and all the pressure on it because the lid is closed and that pressure is going to extract more of the essence out of it just make sure that you got an air exchange so that your jar doesn't explode in the pot and if you don't have a hole in the top, just go ahead and leave your lid on very loosely. Make sure it's not sealed. Okay? So first you're going to start by putting the herbs inside. Herbs I got today. Blue vervain. And I got some burdock. Okay. This works really well with stuff like burdock, which are roots, and they take more time to extract. It's not so necessary for herbs that like are in the form of leaves because leaves don't take as much time and pressure to extract. So I'll measure off a little bit, say like 20 grams of each, not exact but I actually only use 10 grams of the blue vervain just because it's uh, got a lot of powder and it doesn't take as much to extract that. So, looks like this. I'm using blue vervain and, and, and burdock because these um, two herbs are very high in iron. They boost your immunity. Blue vervain has a very good effect on your nervous system. It calms you down. All right. So now all I need to do is fill this up with my drinking water. Put the cap on. And I'll put it in a pot of water that's big enough to hold this with the steamer. All right. So, the cap goes on. And then it sits on top of this, inside the pot. And of course the jar is going to be full of water. Alright. Alright, we got water in our jar. We got our pot on a low boil. Alright. Now we're going to set the steamer in there. And put our jar in there for like 40 minutes. You want to make sure that they, they can close eh, close enough so that we can get more pressure inside and um, let it go for about 40 minutes okay I got my jar some my drinking water probably best to use distilled water come back in 40 minutes to see all right wait for your 40 minutes and then wait for everything to cool down too before you take your jar out you see the big color Flavors to it. You strain off your tea into a cup and enjoy. All right, once you've strained off your herbs, remember you can put them back in. Now you can boil them down again for another for another batch. Boil these down twice. The second time will not give you a very strong tasting tea, but you still get something out of it. All right then. All right, now we boil it down for the second time. Make sure you let your pot cool down before you take it out. The cover's a little, color's a little bit lighter, but uh, there you go. I'm here with my second cup. I boiled down. The herbs for the second time. 
Of course, the taste is not quite as strong, but it's still got some punch. And uh, get your herbal teas in, you know. The burdock, blue vervain, these are blood cleansers, immunity builders. And it's nothing like a nice warm cup of tea in a cold winter. I want to give a shout out to my good friend Benjamin for giving me the idea for this double boiler. Um, if not for him, probably wouldn't have made this video. And if you learned something, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.